about to be a quick makeup video as you can see i already got these brows on so let's hop straight into it um uh what i'm gonna be using is my laura mercier this is the tenant moisturizer natural skin perfector and it has spf 30 sunscreen in it this is the color sm1 mocha okay so this is what we got i'll just be yeah but this is what we're using okay day by day so today is like a very light 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 thing so first i'm gonna do my eyeshadow and i think yeah this is my um tartlet in the bloom i think that's what it says y'all i cannot recursive to save my life yeah this is tartlet in the bloom um this is by tart <laughs> This is like the oldest palette I think I have. I've had this palette for a very long time. So I already have some um, concealer down. So I'm just going to use some of these colors. Um, I think I'm going to use Smarty Pants. And put that down as my base. There. And then also I am going to... I got some Laura Mercier um, powder. Yep, right here. Some setting powder that I'm gonna use as well for um, my base. I like my eyebrow, my eyeshadow when I do do it to be on the natural side, at least for today's look. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this translucent powder and put that down and spread it all over my lid even closer to the top uh, so and y'all this is a regular like me in a sense i guess being like live with it i usually don't do live ones um this laura mercier is translucent medium deep okay that what that, that is so i rub that in fill that in I feel like I've done a lot of videos on brows, so yeah. Then I'm gonna use Jet Setter um, in there as well, just kind of at the like lids and bottom, cause like I told y'all, I'm just going for something natural. Also, we're gonna close that palette. I don't think in this palette they're gonna have a color I want, and they don't. So. I don't want to leave and get another palette. So I have this palette from Coastal. What was that? Coastal Scents. Someone gave me this palette. It's a 26 shadow blush palette. 26 eyeshadows and some um, blushes in there. Now these do not have names, but they have like this kind of nice looking brown color. So I'm just going to add that in at my base and kind of bring it up like window window wipers and go in a sweeping motion like that okay and then i'm gonna grab this small this is like i think a crease brush or shadow crease brush something like that and i'm gonna use sweetheart and just put that kind of like down here on my lids just so i can have a little pink little something but it's still a very nice nude look because i am going to my best friend house just have some drinks so and nothing that i need to be too jazzed up for then i'm gonna go in with my eyeliner and i just gonna put that across like so i hope i don't be covering it so y'all can see might just zoom in okay so not really so much of a wing just whatever is there simple like when you do simple things i think it looks very nice sometimes i don't always like a dramatic look uh fix that and fix that okay so slight wing wasn't really what I was going for. One is definitely higher than the other, but we ain't gonna go there, okay? Yeah, I'll probably have to put that down right there. So, anywho, 
y'all like my eyes are this eye is more slanted this one this one i can always get perfect and this one i can't so i don't care i do not care but i am gonna take my little tissue and try it mm -mm. I have this uh, makeup cleanser that I use. See how I just took that off so nicely. So take that little corner piece off and we're going to try it again. <sighs> Alright. It is what it is, baby. So from there, that's it. Actually, let me put more eyeliner okay there so look a little even but if you ever look at your eyes you gonna have one eye that's lazy and I um this eye is definitely my lazy eye this one is definitely wider I remember when I was doing lashes at the hair store, I had a client who she used to get short lashes and you couldn't really tell whichever one was her lazy eye. Then she started getting medium and you could tell because one used to not, you know, sit up as high. But anywho, so I'm going to take this foundation wool moisturizer. Um, I put probably a good little drop. So I'm going to take this. I always do the dots. Oh, let's see this trick i seen on TikTok. So... I seen where the girl put her she blended the powder and foundation the trans ooh, translucent powder and foundation together so here it is on my hand when I mix it it probably won't come out right because yeah but anyways as you see I have the dots here and then I'll take this with the powder and put it over here oh dang y'all see how that kind of blended a little bit mm, okay a little bit better it made it kind of matte so hmm, that looks kind of nice so now i just take this and blend 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 y'all since i have been like on my skincare and really getting my um skin together and like trying to stick to a routine i have like brightened my skin tremendously not saying i would be like hey michelle but i mean hey you gotta do your whole body to be like him, shit. But anyway, so <laughs> I have definitely seen a difference within my face, though. Even when I look back at some of the videos, the photos, um, it's a big difference. So, y'all, with the powder in there, it takes down like the shininess that be in your face more. I guess when you just, I don't know. I like this tinted moisturizer because it looks very natural. And it literally does what I want it to do, which is kind of tint the skin, but still look natural. It don't look like I got a, a cake face or anything like that. So, I'm going to add a little bit more foundation up here at the top of my forehead. Y'all, when I got these braids, I was like, damn, I got a big ass forehead. <laughs> that. Didn't notice that before. I thought Abel got it from his daddy. Mm, I don't know now. No, but his, I think his forehead is still kind of, I think that's definitely from his dad. That, that ain't from me. Because that forehead is a little on the big side. But, yes. So, boom. Got that down. Now, I'm going to put on a lip liner. Wait, before I do my lip liner, I'm going to take this brush with the setting powder and... I literally just like go ahead and swipe underneath my eyes. I don't let it sit. Just put that because my eyes is looking a little puffy. So go ahead and swipe. And then now I'm just kind of patting it in. And boom, that's it. I'm going to put some lip liner on. I love a nice dark brown lip liner. Okay. It just it it pops. And then I'm crazy. I lick my lips and blend it in that way. Um 
Add a little bit more. <laughs> Y'all yeah, don't judge me. Okay, so because look like it looks very natural, you know, like when you blend it that way. So that's my little trick that I do. And I have this NYX. Um, this is a Shine Loud Globe Citizen lipstick that they have. What color is this one? I always get like very nude stuff. So this is SLHP07. I'll put this in the description box. And it's so pretty. So, kind of pat that in. I'm going to take this brush that I had the pink in with and just kind of smear. Oh, God, P. Smear this lipstick in. And you got to be kind of quick because it's a matte. So, it's going to dry on you. Oh, it's on my hair. So, let's see with that, mm -hmm. with that brush, it just kind of blends it in. And you see how now, mm, I'm a little dehydrated too, y'all. I should have maybe did like a sugar scrub on my lips, but I usually don't do that. But, put a little bit more there, and this time I'm going to pat. Yeah. Pat that in and now I just gotta get my um what is it? I have a little mole by right here on my lip that I did myself. Um but I was supposed to make it darker a while back and I didn't so go ahead and do that and then on this side I just want that lip liner to pop a little bit more. Okay, so this is the final look. Very nice, natural, and simple. Okay, literally, I hope this was like well, it was close to about ten minutes. But yes, this this is it. I gotta put some earrings on. I really don't ever do my edges, so I'm not gonna do it now. Mhm. Mm and this is the final look. Then it's over. It is done. Oh no, I lied. I so lied. My blush. <laughs> But I need some blush. So here I go my blush. And I'm gonna mix two colors together for my face. This one and this one. So I dab, dab, tap. Mm. And there we go. Now I'm done. Okay. And literally, that's it to my look. Um, I don't even think I'm going to do eyelashes, okay? Th this is it. I like to be simple sometimes. I don't be wanting all that stuff. So, hope you guys all enjoy. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And this is it of the video. Hope you guys all like my like natural less than 10 minute makeup routine.